All right, same old antenna, new materials. I'm going to build another ground plane antenna. I really like the ground planes. I like the way they perform. So I decided to build another one. I got some uh, aluminum recently, and this aluminum will all slip together, and I'll be able to make a, a quarter wave active uh, element out of it. For the base of the antenna, to uh, isolate the active element, I'm going to slip that piece of 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC into the bottom shaft of the antenna. And as you can see, I already have a, well, you can't see it just yet. See it? I have a slice in the pipe, so I can put a clamp around. I still have to slice the other pipes to do the same, to clamp the sections together. But at this base one, the clamp will also be holding the, the center conductor from the coax to attach to the antenna. And down here, this spacer slips onto the pipe. We'll go down. It's supposed to go down. It's hard to do some of this stuff one-handed. That will go on there. And then another pipe, just like that aluminum one, will slip onto this end. And the um, ground plane and the shield from the coax will get attached to that pipe. All right, let's get putting this thing together. Okay, the active element is all together. Now I've got to assemble the base. You can see what I did. I just, you can see I sliced the pipe and put a clamp. It holds it very nicely. I cannot twist them to separate them. All right, now I just got to put that. I got to find another piece of pipe like that bottom one. I'm pretty sure I have a five footer around here somewhere of that same diameter. So I gotta grab that and assemble the base. Alright, I've started putting it together. This is a uh, the ring from a ground plane kit from like a uh, an Antron, a Proton, uh, those type of antennas. It has a set screw that goes through the aluminum and pushes against the pipe. And I tightened it up enough so that the pipe ends up pushing down on the PVC and the PVC is in there really well now. So now I put my sleeve in place, grab the antenna part. Oh, I showed you my fingers. Am I steady enough to do this? I'm balancing. <laughs> and eat half a long wood. I just whipped you back. Sorry about that. We slip that over that. Oh, I'm going to have to slip it off one more time, put the clamp around there. But then i got to just put my coax onto this. The coax, the shield to get put right on with that nut. And the center conductor will be put on with a hose clamp. So this is what we ended up with. Like I said, the braid went underneath that nut, which also serves as a jam nut, so that that bolt can't back out. So that bolt is holding the ground plane ring to the pipe and it's crushing the pipe a little to hold the PVC that's inside of there. Then we have the sleeve, then we have the center conductor under the clamp and clamped on and that pipe is sliced so when that tighten up that clamp it also tightens up the pipe onto that PVC and as you can see it's pretty stout. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> it isn't even bouncy. I don't want to be getting the neighbor's houses in shot. All right, I'm going to stand this thing up, and then we'll check SWR. Actually, before we do that, we'll take a look at it in the air. All right, I'm going to go put this in the air. Looks pretty good up there, doesn't it? <laughs> it's all set up. Let me go around the other side and get a better shot of this. Can we get the whole thing in shot? I'm back into the tree line over here. There we go. There's the whole thing right in shot. Those four foot ground radios look awful short, don't they? I've used those on ground planes in the past though and haven't had a problem with them. All right, let's go check the SWR. Let's see how it tuned out. I set that up, I set the, the top element, I don't know if I told you already or not, but it's the uh, exact same length as a 102 inch whip, 
which is like 102 and 3 eighths of an inch long. That's what I set that top element to. Let's go see how it does. All right, let's check the SWR. We're on channel 40. We're going to be looking at that scale right there. There'll be little bars underneath. Let's key up and see what it is on 40. 1.2 to 1. And we're throwing 20 watts of power into it. We're at a 1.2 to 1. See the two little bars right there? All right, let's go down and see what it is down low. 1.1 to 1 way down low. You know what? I'm going to call that good enough. <laughs> Setting that aluminum tubing the same length as a 102 whip actually worked out pretty well. As far as I'm concerned, that antenna is ready to use. Right, let's go outside. Let's take a look at that thing one more time. Just one more time. Take a look at it. Especially now that it's, it's ready to be used. I'm just going to look through the dirty window in the back side of my garage, right out the window. Take one last look at that beauty. <laughs> I'm going to be playing with it for a few days. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this antenna, but it was a fun project. I was uh, happy to see that I could actually create it. All right, guys, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. There you go. Hey, would you mind being in a video? No, I don't mind at all being in a video. Can you give me a report on this uh, quarter wave ground plane that's only 16 feet off the ground? Let me know what, how you're hearing this barefoot 12 watt radio from uh, 30 miles away. And so 30 miles away, I'm over here in beautiful Fort Jackson, South Carolina. That ground plane is 16 feet off the ground. I think that's what you said, 16 feet. Uh, yeah, it's giving me about a S1 on the meter with a 12 watt. And that whole 30 miles, I mean, that thing is sounding great. Uh, I, can't, I, I can't believe I can hear you, actually. And what are you putting out for power? What am I hearing from you right now? So right now, I'm putting out a mighty, mighty 65 watts of power on a, <laughs> from the Kenwood going to my Serio Tornado ground plane that is 45 feet off the ground. Copy that. Yeah, I guess this little antenna is uh, doing its thing. I can't wait to hear how it does once it's up in the air. All right, 262, thank you so much for that. Hey, no problem, anytime.